Thank you for tuning in to Viganita Chandra. I am sure you all are anxious to know what will be the impact of normalization method on your uh, KCET 2022 ranks and this will be my sincere attempt to estimate what kind of changes one can expect after the normalization. Will it be good or bad? Is it only good for freshers or is it good for uh, repeaters or it is both bad for both uh, freshers and repeaters? We will deliberate and see what kind of changes are going to happen. First, let us understand what has been decided. In 2022, we had total 1.8 lakh students writing the CT exam and among them 1.5 lakh students were freshers and about 24,000 students were repeaters. When government said that they will use a 50% board exam plus 50% CET result for freshers and 100% for repeaters only using CET, then repeaters went to the court and finally it was decided that there will be some normalization reduction in the board exam marks of repeaters by 3% and we can say that the new formula that will be used for repeaters is 47 plus 50. This is because repeaters did not wrote the second PUC board exam last year but they have written the CET exam this year and while combining the result there was some mismatch and different rules were used which was challenged and finally it was decided. Now what is going to happen because of this change is that in the rank of freshers so we have one two like this already ranks are given 100,000 like this it goes on to lack. Now there are 24,000 repeaters who will get new ranks based on this method of normalization and they will start filling the positions in between. They will start filling the positions in between which will lead to increase in the ranks of the freshers. That is going to happen. So what is the maximum value the shift can happen? It will be equal to this value. 24,000 ranks can shift when all the repeaters are in between and for a person, say for example, 1,20,000 is the rank of a fresher. Then if all the repeaters are above him or her, then the new rank will become 1,44,000. As the new rank. Now, this is a broad picture I have given. Let us go into actuals and try to see what kind of effect it has on the ranking. Now, I am using this uh, paper clip where the government had uh, given to the court that what are the different ways of uh, normalization that can be done in order to minimize the impact on the overall ranking but finally it looks like the last method that is here which is 50 is to 50 this method is currently getting used and the, the, the method that uh, that is close to this is 4750 so even though the government had options of uh, CET only, considering CET only marks or using for repeaters 25% board marks and 75% KCET mark or like everyone which repeaters were uh, demanding which is 50-50 which is 50% in board exam and 50% in CET exam. Now for repeaters it is 47 is to 50. So when that is done the number of students who will be in those bands I have interpolated and I am changing 64 to 50 between 1000 rank to 3000 rank 
there can be 500 repeaters between 3000 rank to 5000 rank about 700 repeaters between 5000 to 8000 rank about 900 repeaters and between 8000 to 10000 rank about 550 repeaters so like this they will take up the position in these rank ranges so by the time 10000 rank comes you would have seen that there are about 2700 repeaters would have taken the position between 1 to 10000 so this is how the shift is going to happen and this shift leads to increase in the rank and if you just see how much shift is going to get we have between 1 to 1000 band and we have 1000 to 3000 band 3000 to 5000 rank 5000 to 8000 rank and 8000 to 10000 rank so these are the bands or rank ranges and what will happen about 50 people in 1 to 1000 50 people they will take the position between 1 to 1000 and they will take up the position here and hence 1000 will become 1050 similarly between 1000 and 3000 500 people are going to take position between 3000 to 500 700 students repeaters 5000 to 8000 900 and between 8000 to 10000 about 550 students who are repeaters we are going to get the ranks so hence this will lead to increase in the rank so already 1000 will become 1050 now 500 more therefore it will become 3550 5000 will become 6250 8000 will become we have to add 900 more to this and similarly for 10000 we have to add 550 more so like this we are going to observe a shift in all the ranks in all the ranks and the bands so this one will become 7 9 9000 plus rank this is going to become totally 2700 this is 12700 rank so like this we observe a change of uh, between 1 to 1000 1050 maybe those who are 1 to 100 may not see any change but then onwards you can see a change of 1 to 50 rank shift 1 to 50 rank shift you will observe then for the thousandth rank definitely there will be a shift of 50 then for 3000 a shift of 550 so like this progressively progressively it is going to increase here you can observe about uh, so if you add by this time you would have come 2150 2150 which is 10150 so you will have a shift of 8000 to 10150 and this shift the difference is slightly climbing from 50 to then 550 to 1250 2150 then finally 2700 and when all the students would have come in the rank list then then onwards once all the repeaters are in the rank list then onwards every student is going to get a shift fixed shift of 24000 
24k so maybe probably from 1.2 lakh if you assume that all the repeaters are within 1.2 lakh then then onwards everyone is going to get shifted by 24000 ranks so this is the impact this is what is happening because of this normalization method now let us take example as what exactly is going to happen and is it the correct way or is it uh, good for uh, freshers or is it good for uh, repeaters or is it bad oh, to understand it let us take two students student one and i call this as student one and this is student two both in the case of repeaters so here it is student one and student two we have two students to each from fresher batch and repeater batch and their board marks and CET marks in physics, chemistry, mathematics is indicated. Now, if we calculate for fresher, for fresher, so both have scored fresher and student one fresher and student one of repeater, they have scored same marks in board and CET. If we calculate for fresher, his 50-50 rule when applied will lead to a percentage 95, 96, 97 which is 288 and that marks if you calculate then it is 96 percent half of 96 percent is 48 percent plus CT is 66 percent half of that is 33.3 when you add it, you will get 81.33% for the fresher. But in the case of repeater, in the case of repeater, because of normalization, his 5 mark in physics, 6 marks in chemistry and 7 marks in maths is reduced. He will have 3% less, which his uh, score will become 78.33%. A minus 3%. From the same mark uh, scored uh, fresher, there will be a decrease in 3%, his will be 78.33%. Now, we can uh, discuss and uh, debate in both ways where the repeater may feel that why is his uh, mark is going low unnecessarily. I would have scored the same mark or better, but unnecessarily there is 18 mark cut and hence uh, my ranking is uh, becoming worse this may be the feeling for the repeater now i take the second case in the case of fresher he has scored 50 50 50 in board exam 20 20 20 in cet whereas repeater is 95 96 97 in uh, board exam 20 20 20 in cet cta marks is same but board marks is different in the case of fresher if you calculate this will be 25 percent from the board and 16.7% from the CET leading him to 41.7%. Whereas in the case of repeater, he has 45% from the board exam and 16.7% which is the same from the CET exam which leads to 61.7%. Now, in this case, the pressure may feel that his ranking is going to unnecessarily because of the boosting of marks in the case of repeater. So, both ways, in some cases, fresher may feel it is becoming worse. In some cases, a repeater may feel that it is becoming worse. Because in this method, everyone, all the repeaters, the marks is decreased across all the repeaters the same amount. Now, I want to end this session with what could have been done in order to minimize the impact on freshers and repeaters. Now that the decision is made, the technical committee would have thought about various methods and they had to come with a solution very quickly. They had very less time and hence they came up with the normalization method of cutting 18 marks. And now we have to just move on and take that ahead. But I cannot keep what is running in my mind. The central problem to all this issue was the board mark scored by the 
board marks scored by the repeater that was the issue so any method which uses this marks is bound to have problems bound to have problems every method has pros and cons so if you look at the overall problem why this problem came in 2022 is because in 2021 there was no board exam and the marks was given which was felt that it was not indicative and hence any method which uses this marks will be having issues so what what could have been done what could have been done suppose let us consider KCT marks scored by a fresher is 2020-20 and his board mark is this. Now, if we can find a way to replace this marks which is having the issue, it is the central to the problem. What are the ways to change the board marks for repeaters? What are the different ways? One way is ask them to write exam, which is impossible. We have moved away from that point. It was long ago. The decision should have been made long ago. This is not the time to ask them to write the exam. The other way is estimation. We have to somehow estimate how much they would have scored if they had taken this exam, the same exam, same paper that the 2022 batch PU students took and how that can be done. So now what I do is let us consider the KCET mark of the fresher and the repeater. I take the KCET marks of repeater 2020-20. Now what I do is I will go to the database of KCET pressure who have scored same marks 202020 20, 20 in CET then keep on listing the marks scored by them in the board say physics 50 39 41 80 45 77 so on and so forth there may be hundreds or thousands of people who have scored the same KCET marks but different board exam result and now we take the average with there are several statistical method to get the mean of this value the clustering method key main method and various statistical methods are present in order to arrive at a mean value or the normalized value and use that suppose we get a value say 70 uh, 61 55 as the average value use this value as the board exam result for the repeater and then use the 50 plus 50 rule for all the for all the students 1.8 lakh students that way there won't be much of the shift that is going to happen to all the people at all levels it will be equally getting distributed and not only that some repeaters may see this mass getting increased and some repeaters may see this mass decreased no every repeater is getting the mass decreased but in this method depending on where they stand and the estimation the mass could have been increased or decreased and this way probably i feel that it would have been better but now it is time to move on with a positive note work towards your goal and achieve in your life. I wish you all the very best. Thank you for tuning in to Viganita Chandra. Jai Hind.